and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky, all of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Hey, honey, so it's pop lock and drop in. It's your girl Melaja Thode checking in with you. So I'm chilling in the sauna right now, steaming like some broccoli. So I usually have a bigger sauna, but I left my old sauna in my old apartments and like a few days came back and they threw it out. So I just ordered me this one real quick. I love the sauna. The sauna is like one of my sanctuaries. It's where I can just go sit and think and sweat my whole heart out. I love steaming like some broccoli. And I also heard that people who do the sauna um live longer so i definitely recommend steaming your entire body i stay in the sauna sometimes for about an hour depends on how i'm feeling or how stressed out i am or you know just to get up and get going for the day i always i always sit up in the sauna it's just it's just feels so good so i'll be in here for probably about like 30 more minutes and i'm gonna take a shower and do my lashes redo my nails and do my toes and possibly buy some black hair dye and touch up my hair color because it's getting a little brownish and I don't like brown. So yeah, girl, I'm gonna talk, check in with y'all when I get out. But yes, go to Amazon and get y'all, spend y'all a little $200, $100 on a sauna. It comes in handy. And then take that and then take your laxatives and then compare, um, add the sauna into your daily health routine wellness health fitness routine and watch how much body weight you drop i'm gonna also put y'all on to some vitamins that help you lose weight versus taking the ozempic because me i don't want to get ozempic face um and also you know i've had two bbl so i don't want to lose my bbl either so i'm just going to show y'all how i lose my weight and what i do because i also don't work out too much but i did just have a business send me a treadmill so we'll see how fast the treadmill goes i'll probably start you know using that and set it up somewhere around the house but uh, yeah girl, i'm gonna finish steaming and i'll check in with y'all here later just got out feels really good to sweat get your heart race up my body is definitely tea i've been taking care of it for sure but i love the sauna it just makes you feel rejuvenated makes you feel like you did some cardio even though you didn't like i feel like i ran a mile i stay in there for about 30 minutes to an hour you can see i am sweaty baby oh, oh yeah so i'm gonna hop in the shower so i didn't like my maintenance that i did yesterday i just wasn't feeling it so I went and got my hair taken down. It was starting, I washed it and I straightened it, but it just wasn't giving. I had it in for a month and it, the braids were starting to smell. So I decided to get it taken out. And I also put a black dye on my hair because it was a little bit brown. I mean, I wanted it all jet black. And right now I got some of my skincare line on my face, you know, doing a little facial. But I decided to do um, something different with my nails instead of having them just, you know, the nude light pink. I decided to go ahead and have them match my toes and do a French tip. And they're coming out really cute so far. Um, I'm going to redo this one and take that one off. But I did a cute little French tip and then added a little bit of bling to it. It looked cute without the bling on it, but you know, I like my bling and I like my nails to stand out and I feel like that's still cute. And you know, it's not just too much. I like it, so that's what I decided to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hand and be done with this for the day, cause girl, it's not honestly that much work. I honestly love doing it. It's, it is a like therapy for me. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'll check in with y'all once I'm finished. Just pop lock and drop and honey. I'm here with my brother from another mother, Ken. Let's go. <sighs> Salud. Mm. Salud. Oh, which one is it? <laughs> That's a big shot, though. I'm sorry. Ooh, it's strong, straight alcohol. Ooh. Mm -hmm. One more. We're gonna go out. How you The clubs are cute. They are pink. Valentine's? So cute. I fucking love it. So cute. I went to Houston instead. You got to Houston next week, babe? Maybe Austin. Oh, that's. Like a FaceTime essay. Where you at, babe? I'm at the lunch meeting. I just got At the paparazzi? Are you at paparazzi? Yeah. Bet, we're finna pull up. All right, bet. 
Well, was she okay with us coming? Why would right? she not be? What is she gonna say? No or yes? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> so, girl, let's clean up, get in the shower. I'm gonna make me another cup of coffee, mop. I'm gonna get my living room set up soon. I just don't have it set up yet because my puppy is still teething. He literally won't stop. So, but you know, I get it, he is a puppy. I do buy them things to chew on, but for some reason he chews to chew on the wall, which I'm not mad about, honestly. And the only reason why I'm not mad is because it is an easy fix. Um, all I have to do is sand it down and repaint it. That's the only reason why I'm not mad at him. Letting him finish teething, he's almost out of it, and then I'm gonna get my couch and get this living room cute, because everything else looks good. But you know, the body is bodying, girl. I've definitely been taking really, really good care of myself. I'm using my GoPro right now. My other camera is charging, so if the quality isn't that good on this camera, please excuse me. But yeah, I'm loving my body right now. It looks really good. My little belly ring. I definitely have to get my belly button re-pierced because that hole that you have in your belly button whenever you don't have the ring in is just not cute. So, yeah, girl. So come on, give me love. 
I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say Damn And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now Hey honeys, let's pop back and drop in. It's your girl, Melodis today. Checking in with you. Today is September 24th. It's a Tuesday. I'm about to go work out with my brother. Let me let him know that I'm on my way. I'm so happy we decided to work out together. Who is this? I called this number. What number is this? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go work out with Ken. So I'm really excited about working out. I'm getting the schedule together. Hey baby. Hey babe, I'm on my way. Okay, bro. Send me uh, your send, me all right, send me your address one more time though, because I didn't save it. I'm okay, just, baby. I'm about to save it. Okay, baby. Alright. Alright, bye. Bye. Let's go see Ken and work out. Let me turn this music down. So I'm trying to get on a schedule as far as working out goes. Like, hold on girl, let me get myself together. Whoa. There he goes. I just took off all my makeup and lashes because obviously who wants to work out that way? Oh shit, I'm still in reverse. I have to eat after he just sent me his address. Let me save it. Copy, info, how do you edit? Add, address, street, paste, done, got it. So I just saved his, sorry y'all, <laughs> still kidding. Just saved his address. I'm gonna run a couple errands first. Got my seatbelt on, got my sativa weed pen. It's a CBD pen though. And I'm excited, I'm finally about to get my car fixed. So I got a new car, I didn't show y'all the car yet. I'm gonna show y'all, I guess, here later. She's cute or whatever. Wait, I gotta deposit some money first into the bank and then we can go. But yeah, so I'm excited because I was on my way to Houston, right? Girl, but I was on my way to Houston to see this guy who I know I shouldn't have been dealing with to begin with. So check this out. I was on my way to Houston, right? And as I was on my way to Houston, something flew out of the fucking air and smacked my car. It smacked my headlight, broke my headlight. The headlight works, but it smacked the shield that covers the headlight, smacked right through it. We have both of our phones. I'm sorry, like, before I leave. I'll... No, go ahead. All right, y'all, so this is the fit for tonight. I love it, it's cute. All right, y'all, so me and Ken are about to go out to dinner. Well, drinks. I'm gonna eat a little bit though, because I have not ate. Put on my heels. I like my fit, it's really cute. I like to wear everything that these basic guys bitches want Could never be looking super cute. a good week honestly i've just been in my head a lot thinking about stuff and you know how it goes like every month isn't going to be a good month every part of your life is not going to be certain and things do happen that we don't necessarily have control over and right now i've just kind of been in my head about you know things in my life you know i'm so blessed like i have literally the world at my fingertips and i could honestly have anything that i want 
but sometimes girl your mind just plays tricks on you and I've been kind of having I've been in kind of a little bit of a, of a funk I guess you could say I'm just not too sure about things lately I used to be so sure about things in the moment I would want to do something I would just do it but as of lately I've kind of just been questioning myself and just you know a little bit too much so that's also why I'm gonna go out tonight with the girls because I just feel like I need to let loose and I need to quit worrying I worry too much I don't have anything literally to worry about like my life is pretty good I don't have any baggage um shit yeah but um yeah girl I'm just thinking about things like I'm just thinking about shit like I'm just like wow wait Girl, I have seven bills now. Isn't that wild? I have seven bills now. I used to have four bills. Now I got my mortgage, my water, my electric, my phone bill, my Wi-Fi, my car note, my car insurance. Seven bills now. Your girl is just grown. So I'm over here looking over there instead of looking at y'all, but I'm just thinking, I'm just like, wow, like I have so much stuff. Thankfully, everything is on auto pay. So I don't be, you know, tripping about bills and like that. It's just more so like, I'm gonna start getting ready. And I don't know how. I need a new tripod for this camera because I have a big ass camera. Like literally it's huge and it's like hard to get it to stay. But I think I got it, girl. So I started wearing makeup as of recently. I used to not wear makeup. Um, I have glue and extensions in right now, which is why my hair looks so natural. My hair is finally grown back out, girl. It took me like a whole freaking like two, three. Did I just say freaking? What the fuck? It took me a whole like two, three years. Yeah, that's a better, that's a better angle. But yeah, we're gonna go and like around five. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. I'm actually gonna take this makeup off that I have on my face and redo it just because I've had this makeup on since this morning and I didn't exfoliate, nor did I moisturize. And even though it looks really good, I could probably just leave it. I want it to be fresh and not even just that. I wanna moisturize and exfoliate because I see a little bit of dead skin on my face. And y'all know I don't wear makeup, right? Like I don't ever wear makeup. I just started wearing makeup. Um, and the main reason why I started wearing makeup is because I did a chemical peel on my face and it peeled my skin off. And right now it's healing. Um, and it's actually healing nicely, but some parts are a little dark and I'm not going outside like that. So, and I don't wear makeup. So the moment I see like a little bit of it moving, I got to redo it. And my hair looks good. Let me go ahead and call her and see where she's at. See if she's getting ready. She still wants to go out. But yeah, I just started wearing makeup. So, you know, I'm learning everything. And I'm actually glad that this chemical peel happened to my face. Because I feel like Jesus was like, girl, put some makeup on. Like, you look gorgeous. Your skin is flawless. Like, even though makeup is for blemishes, I feel like if you have perfect skin, makeup just enhances your beauty just like any type of surgery does. Like, I never used to be a makeup girl. I'm a fucking makeup girl now. Like, I love Fenty, Benefit. Those are my favorites right now. I haven't really tried anything else. Um, but Fenty, of course, I went straight to the Fenty aisle. I was using L'Oreal and stuff because that's what I grew up. My mom used to use that. But girl, when I tell you, I'm a makeup girl now. And it just brings out my beauty. Like, I look like I'm fucking Middle Eastern at this goddamn point, baby. Oh my goodness. But yeah, all my goals for the rest of the year are I'm getting Botox in my forehead because I know y'all see them wrinkles. Like, my head is Sharpe. And I'm getting Botox here. Girl, I kinda wanna get a nose job. Nose jobs have been around forever, forever. Any actress you know, like has probably had a nose job and it literally just chisels your fucking face and it looks so good if you go to a good doctor. And my face is gorgeous. Every actress you know has a nose job. It's just like a natural contour. And girl, I've been thinking about getting a nose job cause I was like, damn, you could do that with my nose? And I'll just look like that much better? I already look good, like who gives a fuck? I'm 30 years old. I've been beautiful for 30 years. At this point, I could do whatever I want. If I wanna be more beautiful, I wanna be more beautiful. And I'm getting older. So I like, why not? Like, people already know I'm naturally pretty. So I don't know, I was thinking about it. Like, I met this surgeon and he does amazing nose jobs and he like convinced me like I wanna get a nose job. But other than that, 
Botox, Botox. Keeping the filler never will ever go back to normal lips. My lips were already big. I'm talking about baby. If you don't have some, no filler, go get some. You will love it. It's just like, who wants to just be, I don't know. Some people just don't believe in doing anything to themselves. Good for you. Kudos to you. I'm already beautiful natural. So I don't need nobody com to convince me. I already know that. I was born out the coochie. Beautiful, naturally. All I've done in my life is just enhance my beauty literally um but i wish i wouldn't have got a second bbl though because now every time i eat i feel like it just goes to my ass and my ass is just like so kind of like big right now i mean i like it but it's like damn girl you kind of thick <laughs> but i do like it though i do like my bbl i love it it's just like damn girl like look at my body look at my body it's like how pretty can you be how does it and that's the thing though i'm like intimidating and so one thing i've learned this year is to things that i've learned this year are because i am so pretty and i'm so genuine and i have such a good heart things i've learned this year are not to be so genuine everyone doesn't deserve your smile you know you don't always have to just be smiling at everybody just to prove that you are kind and that you are genuine don't be yourself always only to those and i say that because not everybody deserves to know you. I don't, I'm not saying don't be yourself as, I don't, uh, I don't mean like be somebody else. I guess I mean, don't let everybody know everything about you and get to know who you are right off the bat. You know, when you meet somebody, even like me, I used, I'm so genuine. When I meet somebody, I immediately open up and I'm not talking about oversharing, but I'm so honest, you know, I'm so forthcoming and something I've learned, I'm over here just rambling. But it's because, you know, I was talking about basically um, with being so pretty, I've had to learn to tone it down, you know, like, because I can, people think like she's too good to be true. Like, but how are you this pretty, naturally gorgeous, cool as fuck, truthful as fuck, loyal as fuck. Like, this has got to be a scam. And I'm tired of people thinking that of me, men especially. And women, I'm tired of them wanting to get close to me just to figure out what I'm doing in my life. And me being so open, I will allow that to happen because I don't have a family. So I'm so open to love and to being loved, but sometimes I don't realize that I my guard needs to be up because I don't have a guard up. I never have a guard up. I'm not like, yes, I won't talk to you immediately. I won't just let you in my life immediately. But once I, I pick, I'm very selective with who I associate with. So when I selectively associate with you, I'm so open. But I've realized even when I decide to be selectively selective with somebody and choose to befriend whoever or ensue a relationship, keep your guard up. Like, don't say too much. Don't smile too much. You know, don't be so, you know, just don't be so forthcoming. Don't let people around you so easily. Don't let people have access to you. Stay mean. Stay dangerous. You know, of course, always have a kind and nice heart. But let somebody show you their intentions and talk about intentions like what you're what do you want from this relationship what do you want for this friendship like what are we doing what are we hanging out with each other for always analyze the room always read the room and analyze people don't even though we want to be so genuine don't be too genuine to everybody you got to stay on your toes like one thing i've realized is people just want to hurt you people just want to get to you see who you are and try to tear you down because not everybody is as equally yoked or as you know favored by god as you may be you know some people shine bright and have a, a very beautiful aura and others don't believe in themselves like that nor do they have that aura so they're always wanting to get to you and tear you down and lower you and make you think badly about yourself even though what they are saying and what they are trying to perceive you to be it may not be true. And don't let those people do that. So that's why you have to protect your energy and stay away from people. You like have to be very fucking selective in this world because it sucks, but that's just the way it is. Like even you can't even tell your friends everything sometimes and it sucks, but that's just the way the fuck it is. And so that's what I'm on. Like I'm staying dangerous. I mean, I'm, I used to just walk around smiling. Hey, hi, how are you? What's up girl? Ooh follow me don't follow me follow me don't follow me <clears throat> and i was also not doing that because y'all are not finna fuck up my makeup y'all ain't gonna put these cracked lines in my makeup just for the fuck of it 
But all right, yeah. I'm gonna remove this makeup and redo it. Let me make sure this girl is getting ready. I think I know what I'm gonna wear, but I'm not sure. Please, I can cry. Are you getting ready, babe? I need to quit calling everybody babe. It's honestly just such a habit. But I'm gonna um wipe this off. So what I do to wipe it off is just get my oil and get a wipe. And in case you're wondering, laxatives on the body. Okay, like, girl, when I say I be taking my laxatives, because I'm always scared to start working back out because I'll get buff, but not much of a difference, right? And that's honestly why I don't wear makeup because I don't need it, but it's just like, I love it as a great reason. Like it actually really like brings out my beauty. And my friend told me, he was like, girl, he's gay. He's like, girl, go put on some damn makeup. Like fuck all that natural shit. If he wants to know if y'all not, if, if a man wants to know if you natural, he needs to take you to the bedroom. And if he wants to take you to the bedroom, he's put in some work. So a man don't really ever need to see your natural beauty until he actually deserves to see it. Like, girl, put some makeup on. Save that natural shit for the crib. And I was like, you know what? You're kind of right. Like, I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. Like, even though I don't like wearing makeup, it's still like everyone wants to wear a little bit of makeup. She's cute. Let me go ahead and just show y'all everything that I got. So... I went to Ulta, I spent $100 for my first time on some makeup. I had one of my concealers for literally like three years. Never wore makeup because I just don't like the way it moves around. But I'm starting off with my Tarte. Um, it's a color corrector. We'll see if it works. And then I went and got the, this is Benefit. The Benefit Eraser. And I got two colors because I couldn't figure out what color was best for me. But this one actually, girl, I didn't know I was so white this is my color not this one um but i got two colors i got loves it which is my color and oh no good vibes is my color loves it is a little bit of a darker tone so i got those two concealers and then girl i had got me a l'oreal concealer while i was out and about because my makeup was moving and this is before i went to ulta and i actually really like this l'oreal concealer this l'oreal concealer is actually really good and it's really soft and smooth and little brush, you know, little cute little brush, nothing fancy. And then I got my Benefit, I think this is a Benefit powder. I'm not sure if it's a setting powder or what grows pore professional powder. And here is, I absolutely love this lip gloss. I got the NYX lip gloss. It's like the bomb.com girl. All right, and let's get ready. So they say you're supposed to let this dry and then you dab your concealer on top of it. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make this work. And then I'm gonna dab. Cool, I think it covered it. Make sure it's smooth. One thing about me, baby, you just make it get to moving, I'm leaving. You know how many times I came home yesterday during Sunday, um, Saturday? I came home three times because my makeup was moving. I could not figure out how to get it to stay. I used a setting spray, I used the powder. It was moving. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I did moisturize this part of my face. Did I moisture? Oh my God, I didn't moisturize this side of my face. I didn't put the Mederma on this. I only put it on that side. But I'm using it. Girl, to moisturize my face, I love bio oil. You could find this at literally any cosmetic, Walgreens, Walmart, bio oil. My mom used to use this all the time. I would always see it in her closet, bought this. And I'm actually excited about this journey with y'all, you know, just like y'all could see my skin get better, even though it was like, it's not that big of a deal, but just like in case anybody else out there goes through an experience like this, they'll know what to do and what not to do. So I also feel like that happened to me, just you know, there's not like a reason for everything. Cairo is just in a bad mood, I guess. I don't know. But, all right, and I'm not gonna do the same thing to this side, that this area that I'm doing to this area, obviously. Let's you just like literally wipe it all away. There we go. Cause I really don't wanna see it, but it's like, I thought the color corrector was supposed to do that. I don't care what anybody says. I love me this L'Oreal concealer. And I'm gonna actually just dab just a little bit of this benefit eraser i can't believe i made it so bad it wasn't even bad at first like i literally could just put a little concealer and go pop 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 and my ass want to go in with a chemical pill <laughs> girl when i say i wanted to slap myself like why would you do that but it's okay because like i got introduced to fenty girl 
So I love me some Fenty makeup. When they say the hype is the hype, the hype is the hype. Even my girlies that don't wear makeup, I would suggest getting some Fenty. This matte one I love. It just goes, it just, girl, it just, you see my skin? You see how pretty this skin is? We're not going to talk about this little area, but my skin is, of course, right here, we could get a little bit of a, we're getting Botox for sure. I cannot believe. <gasps> Y'all are watching me age. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all are watching me age. Girl, look at my forehead. Sharp easy. I'm going to get a facelift for sure. Getting Botox though, for sure. I'd never, I should have got Botox a long time ago. But it's because I make so many facial expressions. And it's just, oh girl. But yeah, Fenty and I am number, what number am I? Ooh, I, I am number, shake well. I didn't shake it. What number am I? 210. I, yeah, 210 girl, 210. All right, so we're gonna put this 210 on our face and who's texting my phone leave me alone um okay okay so let's get into this makeup i'm using my silicone brush tools i mean i feel like doing makeup is just like painting a canvas i feel like doing makeup is just like me doing my nails i feel like doing makeup is something that i can do so all i need is the paint the tools and the canvas and to do it nice and nicely and really, you know, take my time to make this art because I'm not doing what I did yesterday and coming home because my, my makeup is moving. And then for my eyebrows, girl, I got the kiss. I'm not gonna ever get this stuff again though. I was being cheap and in a rush, but I got the kiss. But everybody doesn't have, you know, money to buy the good stuff. But I got kiss and, you know, cute little eyebrow brush. So girl, let's get into this face. So I'm gonna let that concealer sit a little bit more, I guess. I'm not gonna do too much because I don't need to do too much to my face. It's just this area I need to make sure that it stays. But I'm gonna use my, I like these silicone babies. I feel like you could just wipe them off and they're clean. Your brushes, you have to make, let them sit and do all type of extra stuff. And I don't have time for all that. And this, I feel like it just helps you glide your makeup. I was using my hand, but I stopped using my hand when I realized my hand was collecting the makeup, obviously. But one thing I love about Riri's powder is, girl, when I say once that sh stuff, once that stuff set, girly, it just looks really, really nice. It's this is I got the matte finish. I don't like to look too oily. Please excuse my phone. Let me turn this down. I have other than what I'm used to. Bam. Beautiful. I love the matte finish. It's like it's powder. It like turns into powder. And I don't, I get nervous about this area because this is where the makeup starts to move because obviously I'm trying to keep it. And I rub it in my lips because I need it all around my lips. I don't want it like little lines, you know what I mean? Like where it looks like it's not. And I'm still learning how to, you know, use Ruby's makeup and just like play with it. But I paint really good and I do nails really good. So I feel like it's all the same. But I also like a nice natural finish. And then my my guy, when I called him, he was like, you got makeup on? He was like, you're natural beauty. You don't need no makeup. But anyways, Fenty, hmm, did it. And you know, I'm not trying to smile too much because I don't want my makeup moving. I don't hear people that text like that. <sighs> But yeah, so yeah, don't we love the Rihanna? Like, look, it looks so good. Sorry, let me get my mirror set up. I need to get another little small mirror, like a magnifying mirror. Because you know, I am single, I'm dating, and I know that I am can't find my man from being in the house. And not even just that, you know, I have a plan. I know what I'm going to do with my life um, as far as if I was, you know, when it comes to doing business. And I've, I've put in the work. Uh, I've never focused on my dating life. Like I've never, I just started dating and I want to start a family and I, I you know, I, I need that in my life. I don't have a family. Yes, y'all are my family. Yes, I have friends and stuff that love me. That's not the same from having your own family. And I will never go back to my family because it's been so long and I just feel like it's never would be a good relationship for me because we are just, I don't know them anymore and I don't want to, I don't want to know them and I don't want to re-know them and I don't want to get to know them. Um, we're just different and if it was meant to be, I would've went back a long time ago 
and it just is what it is. Like I would never allow myself to go around people who talked badly about their own blood when I'm an amazing person. I'm literally just so fucking beautiful. <laughs> like that's literally, like, you know, you hate me because I'm beautiful. Yeah, it's like literally it. Like literally everyone that I went to school with literally just didn't like me because I was pretty. I didn't speak and I didn't speak because I was so shy and I, whatever. But so now it's like, okay, I want to start my own family. So I need to go outside. How are the eyebrows looking? Are they cute? So I'm gonna put this setting powder on. I did my powder already. That's why I'm going outside, ladies. I'm going outside because we're going outside. It's 7 p.m. Friday. Wait, it's 9 p.m., 7 p.m. What time is it Friday, Glorilla? It's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees. I do not have no nigga, and no nigga do not have me. Okay, because I am not about to sit my ass inside just because I'm dating somebody because that person may not be faithful to me. So what the fuck do I look like sitting inside being faithful to a motherfucker who do not have a ring on my motherfucking finger? Amen, I know that's right. Let me get these bottom lashes together. Oh, and then put on my outfit. But I'm totally open to meeting you at the star. I'm not far. But I am totally open to meeting you at the star. I am not far. I'm getting ready to go out with my girls as we speak. <sighs> One thing I hate about mascara though is always doing this little thing where it touches my goddamn makeup. Like, dude, quit it. Don't start with me. Yeah, and now that I did my makeup, I'm not making a single facial expression because I hate when my makeup moves. And dust that foundation off my bottom lashes. I can't believe I have a whole face of makeup. I kind of like it. It's like really pretty, cutesy, cutesy. But yeah, so girl, we're going out 7 p.m. Friday. Well, it's Sunday, but it's it's five so we're we're early and i don't feel like i'm gonna bring my lip liner just because i really do like wearing lip liners it's actually kind of cute and i don't like my setting powder that i have personally I feel like it doesn't set my powder i feel like it wets it and moves it so we're not gonna put setting powder on i need a, I need a good setting powder and this tarte color corrector i don't know if i used it right or not but i don't like it until i learn how to use it because i don't feel like i did it with all the extra pats that i had to do on that side yeah of course it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but I feel like it matches kind of good. And now, what are we gonna do now? Put my SPF on, drink the rest of this girl, and let's look for an outfit. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I wore a cute classy dress yesterday. I wish I would've vlogged with y'all and showed y'all, but I didn't. And I'm sorry I just rambled into so many different conversations. Like girl, sometimes I just need somebody to talk to, so I do appreciate you being here with me. I wore a really cute dress yesterday. Yesterday, I can't talk. And I wanna wear a really, really cute, sophisticated dress again today. Bitch, you better not. She, look, she's falling. Sorry, I'm working on my cutscene. I really am. I'm trying to be a good little wife. Good, a good mother, right? I'm gonna teach my baby how to say shit. I'm joking. I would never do that. Don't smile. Mean girl face all day today. I'm talking about, you gotta really make me bust a joke to make me laugh because until I get Botox, y'all not making my makeup move. Okay, how does the back of my hair look? Natural? Good. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I was gonna wear this orange ensemble with my white heels, but I feel like it's, I don't wanna dress like that no more. I would wear this dress, but then I would have to iron it and stuff and we're not going to church. So I'm so mad I wore this dress already. This dress was the bomb.com. Like, everybody loved this dress. They said it looked like a Casa Azul bottle. Casa Azul. I already wore this dress too and that was a big fucking hit. Everyone loved this fucking dress. So mad I didn't get an outfit in this. I don't know, a picture. An outfit in this, a picture in this outfit. It was so fucking cute. I got this from Royalty. It's actually a men's store, but I don't know why do they love their clothes. Wore that, killed this. I know y'all saw them pictures with that top. I got rid of a lot of my clothes and gave them to the homeless cause I was trying to dress different and dress more classy. But it's like, I don't have an outfit to wear. This is the old ass dress I've done. Still haven't got a picture in that dress. I cannot wait to wear this. I cannot wait till it gets cold and I could wear this dress. I gotta get it tailored though. Like, you see where it's going, sis. You see where it's going. I wore this for fucking Christmas. It's like, I literally have, I could name where I wear everything to. That's how little of clothes that I have right now. But it's like, how do I have such little of clothes if I'm always going shopping? How do I not have no clothes? It doesn't mean any can't stand that I have to wear makeup. But I like it, but I don't, but I do, but I don't, but I do, but I don't, but I do. Cause like, I feel something right here. And I would wear that, but the bottoms are not clean. They're like fuzzy. Oh, I'm gonna wear this one. 
So this is kind of like a little grandma dress, but I feel like this is my new style. Dressing kind of turned me out. Ooh, this one. I haven't found a place to wear this one yet. It's like classy, but sassy. I love it. Let's go. The motherfucking summer bunny. Ew. Today is army day. Okay, army day, baby. Ready? 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 What color? Girl, I'm not gonna go lie to you. Get, a, uh, get you a brand new one, cause that white one damn near cream now. Oh wait, you can't, you can't hear me? I said, honestly, I would tell you to get a brand new one, cause that white one that I got is like cream now. I didn't wash it right. Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. Mm. I'm feeling like a million bucks though today, so last night was horrible. I'm talking about everywhere we went was dead. How was SNS? Oh, my phone. How was SNS last night? How was SNS last night, Happy? Was it dead? Okay, but I'm gonna throw my shoes on. I'll meet y'all. Um, I'm gonna go park at my old apartment and then just ride with you. That's cool. I said I'm gonna go park at my old apartments downtown and just ride with you. That's cool. All right, but all right, but me too. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. All right. Is all right. So we are ready to go. Let me show y'all the dressy dress. This is an old dress. Really cute. We're all wearing army tonight. So yeah, I'm actually gonna. So my girls are wearing boots. I don't know. I kind of want to wear heels though. So let's see. So I got these cute. I'm not gonna lie. I've had these heels. I don't know how long I've had these heels, girl. Like about five years. Literally about five five years. I've had these shoes. But I don't know why they just are. They're they were made so nicely. Like they they look so good. And I got these from Zara. I got my dress from Zara. I got these shoes. These green ones. Not gonna lie. I think they came from Big T about five years ago. Somebody gifted them to me. I love olive green and they just look so good. But the girls are ready. I'm gonna brush my teeth one more time. But so this is the option for the shoes. I don't know. I think I'm gonna wear my heels though. Big mama loves to lay in my way. So we could either do the, the, the boots or be sexy and do the heels. Boots or heels? Heels. They know me. They know I love to wear my heels. Well, I'm a girly girl. And my toes look so pretty. I can't like not. Show off my toes. But I'm gonna take these off real quick though, actually, and the OCD in me wants to clean up so bad. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, 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 because I wanna clean up so bad right now. Let me pee. Hold up, girl. Hold on, baby. Let me put some panties on. I gotta wear some panties. I gotta wear some panties. Panties on. And I think since I got this, I don't know, I have my black, I need to get a new purse. Like. I don't know why I haven't bought myself a new purse yet. I just, I bought myself my chains and stuff, but I just haven't got around to buying me a new purse yet. Almost ready, not ready just yet. My rings on. And it's cause I bought my chains. Like I could have bought me a new purse and I wanted to buy me a new purse and I have all intentions of getting me a new purse, but depression was like whooping my ass and I couldn't move at certain points. And so I just like was not on the shit like I was supposed to be. Cause you know, yeah, I'm pretty, but I have my days where like, not having no family really fucks with me. It's like, I don't have anybody who I could really just talk to and just like, so it's just like, that's why I'm outside. I, I, I don't care what no bitch say. She say she don't need a man. I need a man. I need a man in my life. I need some help. I'm, I'm so tired of doing every motherfucking thing, being the man of the woman in my life. So that's my main focus. Like, it's not like I'm looking for a man, but being in my bed all sad about not having a family is not going to help me find a man. Like, I gotta be outside. And I've worked on myself for so long, like I come to the table with so many amazing attributes. So it's not like, I'm always the problem. Sometimes I'm just really fucking intimidating and I gotta chill the fuck out. And like, nah, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, any fucking ways. And this green is like, <clears throat> what you doing walking back and forth and stuff. Huh? 
What you doing? What you doing? I love you, Shiloh. Cause of ooh, baby. <laughs> Bae, I love you. You my everything. I'm fast cause. Fuck them other grandmas. I'm your only grandma. Mm -hmm. Y'all say hi to our grandson. Shaweezy. Say hi to YouTube. Her camera dying. She gotta go bye bye. We love you. They watched him grow up into a man. Well, he's not a man yet. Hold on, Bubba. He's a, he's a toddler right now. He's in his little weird stage and he's got lots of energy. And not, no, don't scratch me. And all he wants to do is when he goes outside, he gets to running fast. We love him. Let's go. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put on my fit and I'm gonna check in with y'all later. Oh. <laughs> hey, vlog. Look what happened to me. So I'm gonna be out of commission for a couple days. I just wanted to check in with y'all. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Hopefully this heals up really nicely. I should have got stitches, but you know, you're probably just trying to take care of everything by yourself. Yeah, I'm kind of mad about it. It's like somebody did the evil eye to me and it's like trying to mess up my beauty with, you know, this, my dog biting me in my face. Like, it's like somebody, I think I have a full hole right now. So I don't know why this stuff keeps happening to me. I didn't do anything to anybody, but I think somebody definitely gave me a hole. So I'm gonna do an egg cleanse so I can banish all these negative energies that are surrounding me right now. But I'll be back soon with pop and skin and I'm gonna take a break until I'm 100% because my business, the businesses that I have and the businesses that I promote, I don't wanna promote them looking like this. I'm not trying to come up off having a black eye. So I'll talk to y'all when I am 100%. Yeah, girl, bye. <laughs> All right, y'all, so my nails came out really cute. I like them this way. It's way, 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 way cuter than before. Um, I'm actually gonna put on a big T-shirt that way my row doesn't come undone. So let me do that real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna wax my bikini area. And I know, girl, you're like, what, you're gonna do it yourself? Honestly, my friend taught me how to do this a long time ago, like about like two years ago. And I'm so glad she taught me how to wax myself. Well, she waxed me and it turned into something else. But, and ever since then I've been waxing myself and I, you know, let it grow out for two weeks. So that way when I do wax, I get a full grown pool. Like it's gonna be, cause I messed up by using Nair. Nair messed up my entire process. But yeah, so I'm using Gigi All Purpose Hard Wax. I got this from Sally's. It was $16. $16 lasts you a whole bunch of full bikini waxes. So if you do have a pain tolerance and you're not too scared to do it yourself, I would recommend doing it yourself. It saves you so much money. Like I do everything myself. I do my lashes, my nails, my toes, my waxes. I've learned how to do all of my maintenance myself. That way I can save all money. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a therapy when I do my own maintenance. So a lot of people, you know, don't have the time or whatever. But me, I'm, I just, I like to do things myself, so. I've learned to do it and my wax is the consistency that I want it. And I do, I don't do big, um, I do little bitty small patches. I don't like to do big patches cause it hurts more. So if you do little patches, it won't hurt as much. So I'm just gonna do a little patch of hair, put it on there, nice and thick, cover the whole area. And this wax, I love it because honestly, you don't even need to be fully grown out in order to wax yourself. You could have a little bit of hair and this wax is going to pull out anything. Like any little bit of hair that's sticking up, it's gonna get it. So I'm gonna do all little bitty patches, you know? I'm just gonna do little patches. That way it doesn't hurt that much because it's be hurting, girl. I recommend waxing and then doing laser hair removal because it just looks better. And that's honestly all I'm worried about um, for the rest of the year is my physical appearance. I'm making sure that I, you know, I have everything fixed that I want fixed. like. You know, I, all I want to do to my body now is make sure that my skin taste stays tightened, make sure that I get rid of any and all scars and bruising that um, have came about me being on this world for 30 years. You know, I have just like little scars like this from backing into a hookah right here. You could barely see it on my belly, but my flat iron was on and it touched my stomach, you know, just like, little you know this on my eyebrow i'm keeping the silicone scar sheet on until it fully heals it's almost healed up 
it looks really good i'm happy i wish i would have known about these silicone scar sheets a long time ago if your skin breaks in any kind of way get this silicone scar sheet it's going to help you and you're healing out tremendously we have my scars i'm gonna get some of my tattoos removed like this tattoo that i have right here on my chest i want this gone um this tattoo on my but on my shoulder I want gone. I wish I would have done all of this. I kind of want this gone too because I kind of just like this armband alone by itself. So I might even look into getting this removed as well. I want this gone, this gone, and this gone. I want three of my tattoos gone. I was going through things. I was 26 and girl, I just went and got tatted. I'm about to go ahead and pull these up. One, two, three. Ooh, nice little pull. This camera isn't as good as my other camera but you could kind of see that girl and if you do little ones it's just a quick pain but if you're doing a whole bunch of hair girl when i say the rip is crucial like this still hurts Ooh, that hurt but it's not as bad because you're doing little 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 by little Ooh, ooh. but when i say she's cute and i want her to stay cute and i'm getting my bikini area together like i kind of let her I didn't let her go, but I wasn't, I was getting lazy. So I wasn't stick, staying with my waxes and I started using Nair. So some razor bumps came about. So right now I'm just making sure my coochie look good. Make sure my coochie look like my face. So you don't be walk, you don't wanna be walking around with a pretty face and a bumpy coochie. Yeah, that, and then I wanna get rid of my BBL scars. I'm gonna go, go do a laser laser resurfacing because I wish I would've known about these silicone scar sheets a long time ago. I would've put those on there. It sucks the tissue, the scar tissue right out. That, my scars, my tattoos. I wanna go get some Botox in my forehead. My hair is growing so much. Like she's cute, like my hair is growing so much. And this time I'm not gonna mess it up. I'm not gonna bleach it. I always let my hair grow out and I bleach it. What are you gonna learn? No bleach this time. Yeah. Keep the filler filling. Go get a touch up on my filler. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Cute, so cute, so. Just letting this stuff dry. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> my coochie lip. Oh my goodness. My coochie lip got stuck to the side. Oh my gosh. If you know, you know. Ooh, that was a pretty pool, like. That hair is gone. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it does hurt, but it looks so good. She is coming, baby. And you know, you gotta stay on your P's and Q's because just because a man found you attractive doesn't mean you're gonna be attractive forever. And he better call me. Hey, I'm gonna call you right back, okay? Yeah, why are you with a band-aid? It's not, it's a silicone scar sheet. It's taking the scar out of my face. I'll call you back. Okay. okay. Who is this? I don't even know this guy. It's just wild, like, I went from looking beautiful to looking like a UFC fighter overnight. <gasps> oh my God, I went. When I tell you, when I tell you, you will never, ever, 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 ever catch me around. Catch me around on my lips again. Like animals. I'm joking. <laughs> no, but for real, like that's mad wild. I went from looking gorgeous to looking like a UFC fighter overnight. It's fucking crazy. Intentionally uh, setting. Okay. Ooh, I look a mess. I look a mess. I look a mess. Hey, honeys, what's pop like and dropping? It's your girl Melida that ain't checking in with you. I am tripping right now, not having something over. Oh no, my belly button ring came out. Ugh, it's so annoying. Like, cause I like so. I had an eventful week. I'm gonna talk to y'all all about it here soon. But right now, I need to get myself together and not even just that, get this house together. And not even just that, girl, I'm tripping because I do not have a Band-Aid on my, well, not a Band-Aid, but a silicone sheet on my eye. Gotta keep a silicone sheet on there because it's healing so nicely. But I have been out in the sun. So I do want to put a little bit of sunscreen on it. My bruise is going away. It looks really good. I'm in like a really good mood. I would never let this like stop my shine. I'm just excited the bruising and everything's healing up really nicely. I'm really happy that my friends introduced me to these silicone scar sheets. They are literally crazy work. I'm gonna put one on my eyelid. I have one on my leg also. I haven't even taken it off. I should take it off already. Make sure it's right on there. And it literally just does its, does its voodoo. I mean, it's magic, whatever. 
It does a great job, that's all I can say. And there we go. Same, another day in America, same thing, different day. I am. I'm really happy that I found my makeup. I was really upset. I thought I lost this stuff and I just bought it. Y'all know I don't buy makeup. So I was just like, but I found it. Super happy about that. It's all in my car. And I just got back from the Dollar Tree. So girl, I do shop at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. I'm actually gonna leave my room right now. That way I don't get distracted and I will clean up my room here in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to finish up here in the kitchen. I cannot wait to get my living room together. I still don't have a couch or anything like that. Mainly because my puppy is still teething on the walls and he just like will not fucking stop. And so I'm waiting for him to finish and to, you know, teething. Which is why I always have their little treats to chew on. Their little area, really cute. So once he stops teething, then I'm gonna get me a couch. Cause if he chews on my couch, I can't fix that. Like the only reason why I'm not tripping about him chewing on the walls and stuff is because it's an easy fix. All I have to do is sand it down, paint it and plaster, let it dry, paint it. It's like so easy. So that's why I'm not super mad at him, but whatever. So yeah, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some basic stuff, nothing like crazy. Got me some wipes for upstairs and downstairs. You know, the wipes are only a dollar. You can get six wipes with 72 of them for $6 versus going to Walgreens or whatever, Target and getting a pack this big for $8. And it has the same amount when you can get eight for eight dollars. So, I don't know, girl. I've just always went to the Dollar Tree for little things like that. Like I go for my wipes, I'll go grab little things of like coconut body oil. They're only a dollar. I grab like a whole bunch of these coconut oils. They have cute little, and these smell so good, these candles. It's a very vanilla, sweet scented candle. And this candle smells so good. I'm actually gonna, I have one already lit right here. My giraffe, it's so cute. I already have one. It smells really good. But I want to put one over there in my living room. Well, actually, no, I'm actually going to put one in my bedroom. Because I have one for upstairs. Just lit that one. So I'm going to have this one actually in my bedroom. But yeah, then like dish soap. I just go for little things like dish soap, wipes, oil. What all did I get on my, what was on my list for the Dollar Tree? Oh, I cleared my list, so I don't even know, girl. But like, yeah, I went and got dog toys. Oh, what else did I get? Gum. Carmex, just little things that only cost a dollar versus going and spending more somewhere else, you know? So how, how different can the dish soap be? How, how different can Dawn be? I don't think Dawn would like water their soap down, right? Yeah, just like little shit like this. Like, I went and got some carpet deodorizer for upstairs, I have carpet upstairs only. Disinfectant spray, girl, it's a dollar and it smells so good. Like what? You know I have dogs, so I stay up on my candles and scents and stuff. I don't want anyone ever to come over and it smells like a dog. Yeah, and soap, Ajax, you know, I have soap dispensers and stuff to fill up. So just little shit, girl. Like I got some plastic cups. I broke mostly all of my glasses. I'm horrible when it comes to glasses. I probably need to get plastic. Child, I'm gonna tell you. I feel like a mom. For real. And I am, I have four dogs. That's gotta equivalent up, like that's gotta equal up to, equivalent up to, like, girl, when I tell you I have not been able to form a sentence all week, my brain has been all over the place. Like, I mean, I'm good. I'm good now, like I'm in great spirits. Something that happened, you know, it's not gonna stop, you know, stop my life or anything like that. Like, it's honestly not that big of a deal. Like, my life was fine before that, and it's gonna be fine after that. I definitely should have been hanging out with that bitch from the beginning, um, which, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Everything's back to normal. I got endorsements to knock out. I have four actually right now to knock out. One from Cozy Snug, Fun Millie, a dog company sent me some stuff for my dogs. 
and Grace Hair Palace. I'm, so, I mean, Grand Hair Palace. I'm so excited that hair companies are finally reaching out to me again because you know your girl likes to have a good sew in. But um, I'll only ever be endorsing bundles because I don't wear wigs, I don't like wigs, and I'm not ever going to promote something that I don't like and that I wouldn't wear. So you'll never see me like promoting a wig or anything like that because I just don't wear wigs and I don't like them anymore, it's just not my style. I'm drinking wine out of a styrofoam cup. Mm. And then I stopped at the store and got me fuel to go smart Snacker classic hummus pretzel. Let's see what this is like. I've never had hummus on the go. I'm glad they have it packaged nicely so I won't bust that description. I was almost online with you. Okay, babies. I just got the house all cleaned up. My lips are actually purple. The wine. Hold on, let me clip y'all. But I don't let me wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna clip y'all on the finger. My hands are like so dirty and kind of sweet. I don't know who told me to be so grown and get a house and have all these bills. And uh, I don't know who told me to be grown like this, but I am grown. Like I knew I was grown the moment I was worried about how green my grass was and why it was dead in some spots and you know this house isn't gonna be perfect because it's just me but we're gonna try to make it as perfect as i can and i need to chill out on eating so much i'm starting to get a little, little chunky monkey all right girl let's go oh all right so as all of y'all know it is october 7th girl the Time is flying by, the year is about to be over, and it's time to get festive up in this bitch. The babies are down there. I have me some Halloween decor that I have had since last year in my little closet space. This is like, you know, all the extras. It's that holiday season, girl. Like, so I make all my own wreaths. So like, this is my Halloween wreath that I made. Oh shit. Oh no, the stuff is falling off of it. I forgot. We have to super glue. Okay, cool. So we're gonna take this to the room and we're going to redo these reefs because I got some some um, hot glue. We'll put these in here. But yeah, so I make my own reefs, girl. <laughs> I go to the Dollar Tree and grab a reef and grab all their little things that they have and just make my own reef. It's so much more fun. I gotta have the bow and then let me clip y'all, girl. All right, and in here I have just a lot of extra stuff that I've collected over the years. One thing I've known and some advice that I could give is never throw your stuff away. Oh my gosh, I'm just now realizing that these puppies were chewing on this light. I never noticed that till now. This has chew marks all over it. Oh my God. But yeah, never throw your stuff away because like you will regret it because it'll just be one day where you're like, yo, I need a red wig and you had a red wig, but you threw the red wig away. You know, just days like that. But let me find all of the Halloween stuff. I got my BBL supplies. Like, girl, you never know when you're gonna want another BBL. What is this? Girl, I went, went all out for this guy that I liked, right? And I bought him like a whole, I was gonna do this big old birthday party for him, like with the champagne towers and the food this is a champagne tower mind you i just don't ever find time to go back to amazon but hey one day i'm gonna use it the balloon it was his 30th birthday so i was gonna do black and gold and these are pots like those show like those the pots that keep everything warm the silver real nice like girl when i say don't do nothing for a man until he does something for you listen to me when i tell you because you will just dry ass, be out here doing for a guy, and he ain't gonna do shit for you. And I say that because the more you do for a man, the less he does for you. The more attention you show a man, the less attention they will show you. It's just how, how physics is. I don't know. It's just, I call it physics, because I don't know what it is, girl. It's just how it goes. So I found my Halloween stuff right here. I think I still have my Halloween costumes and everything. Yeah, I was Harley Quinn one year. I wonder if I have the shorts. I don't think I do. Oh, I do. I still have the shorts. Cool. I could probably be Harley Quinn. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to be a badass Harley Quinn this year. Bet. So let's take this downstairs and go through it and see what we got. Or in the other room. This is an empty box. 
up. And why is this hair just out like this? Like, oh, it's supposed to go in this bag. Oh, this is my birthday stuff. Like my birthday supplies, like machines. Like I have microdermabrasion machines. I have so much shit. And I need to be using it. But why are these wigs just like this? I have so much hair. So yeah, this. I have a microdermabrasion machine and a body sculpting machine. I'm actually going to take this downstairs. I need to start using it because my skin has been acting up. Oh, I forgot I already had a floating table. I needed a floating table for my bedroom because I'm getting a projection screen. Oh, duh. Totally forgot. Imagine it's, well, I don't need to take all this downstairs. I got a floaty, an avocado floaty. So one day when I have a pool, I could use it, you know? Just cool shit. Okay. I'm definitely taking these downstairs. I totally forgot I had these. I'm so glad I didn't order any. I forgot a company sent these to me. I'm so glad I'm back on my influencer shit, girl. Because, like, you'll find some really dope-ass companies to sponsor you and to invest in you. And it's actually stuff that you need, you know? You're getting older, not younger. Take it from, take it from me, girl. <laughs> Just these lights, we got lights. Should I start hanging up my Christmas lights? All right, y'all, so we made it to the office. Hold up. All right, y'all, so this is the office. And in my office, I have where my area where I paint and where I do stuff. You know, I'm a very artsy girl. I've always liked to create. And my gallery is going to be open again here soon i just been really focused on my private life like all this stuff will be here but we're not young forever all my equipment just everything that i've accumulated my polaroids i need to get some film for those just everything i've come uh come um, i can't talk i've accumulated okay okay i want to tell you girl literally everything i don't need for anything Thank you, God. But we're going to get this really together because I'm going to, I love the holiday season. Yes, I don't have any family like that, but around this time of the year, I make myself happy. And that's what a lot of people's issues are. Oh, sorry. Hold up. Make sure you can see the whole closet. Okay. Yeah, that's what some people, their issues stems from validation from others and not validation from self. And I don't look for validation from others. What is this? Oh. <sighs> But it's always a back and forth battle because me, I don't look for validation from others. I always look for validation from myself. I always make myself happy, but not all the times is that enough. And sometimes I feel like it's both goes both ways. You look, you look for validation from self, but even then with me, like, I also want to look for validation from my partner because I'm always looking, I always, you know, oh my goodness. And when I tell you my, sorry, let me see, I'm focused. When you look for validation from self so much, it's like it's, you know, you start to program and that it only, nothing else matters but what you think. And that's true to an extent because with me, I've had self-validation for so long, but sometimes you need to let other people have an input in your life. So sometimes seeking validation from those that you love and those who are important to you and those that you look up to is not a bad thing. Because I feel like we should look for validation from others also because it's not always about just you and what you think. You know, input is always necessary. But anyways, on to the next. So this is my Christmas wreath. My Christmas wreath is so fucking cute. I got all of this stuff from the Dollar Tree. I got the wreath from the Dollar Tree. These little stars. Yeah, the wreath is so cute. Look at it. I mean, I'm about to fix it. This fell off. It goes right here. But I got all this stuff from the Dollar Tree. So cute, and it's got the little bells on it. Girl, when I say I make myself happy, I'm gonna make myself happy. And then this is my Halloween wreath. So some of the bows came off. So there's bows on here, so I'm gonna put a bow, a bow. And somehow I'm gonna super glue this on here, the spider. But yeah, let's see how that works out. First, let me fix this Christmas one. This will be easy. Is this hot yet? Yes, it's hot. Bet. I hate that I say bet so much. So you know I've been hanging out with Dallas people like way too much. Cool. So cute. Yeah, glue stick, the glue stick's going. Oh my god, this is so cute. I fucking love it. Yes. And then there was a bell. Where'd that bell go? Have y'all seen the Polar Express? Like the movie? Such a good movie. Kids. 
I love washing the hair myself. But I think I tried to just leave one bell, I guess. Can't find it. I know I have it. I just I picked it up. Oh, it's over here. Right? No? What do I do with it? Well, actually, I don't even need two bells. Because it's under the mistletoe. So there should only be one mistletoe anyway. So I don't even need this one. I'm gonna cut this one off. Let's cut this one. We don't need one mistletoe. Wait, but now we gotta put this in the middle. Way too much. Like this totally needs to be in the middle. What was I thinking? Let me glue it to Santa. See if it'll stay. Yeah, I think it did. Cool. Yes. Under the mistletoe. Cute. All right, look at me. I feel like such a loser. I'm really sitting here making my wreath right now. I just like to be in the holiday spirit. Like, I'm not gonna sit around sad and all like bummy and stuff. If I'm in, the, in a good mood and it's rush hour right now, everybody's busy and this is the perfect time for me to do shit like this. There, cute. Look at my fucking wreath. Don't play with me. My shit is so cute. Uh-uh, don't play with me. What? No. For the Halloween. I can't wait to have kids. Like, we're all gonna make reefs in this bitch. I gotta be cussing though. We're all gonna make reefs and have a good old. Oh no, I'm being messy. Let's put another glue stick. All right, which way does this go? Any type of way? All right, so let's glue on this bow. Make sure it's even and symmetrical. You know we don't like uneven stuff. Let me bring y'all a little closer so y'all can see. Sorry the light's like really low, but I'm gonna put it at the top actually. Bitch, don't play with me. Oh my god, I wish I had like little things to put on it. <gasps> Do I not have nothing else to put? Bullshit. And then I could put like the spider, like, I don't know how to put the spider on there though. Like that? Let's try it. I'm gonna just super glue his ass down. I mean, hot glue his ass down, let's see if he stays. Oh my goodness, I've never done anything like this before. Don't tell me it messed up. Oh, I accidentally turned it off. Okay, cool, got it. Girl, cool, I think it's actually stuck. That's so, my reef finna be so cute. My reef finna be so cute. Oh, actually, I let it step on it. Oh my gosh, it's actually sticking. Duh, but no, like, this is just so dope. I'm really over here like a whole reef master. Like, girl, what? Look at my reef. You don't even got nothing on my mind. No, that's right. I love this. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh, my hand's stuck on something. Or should I have done the spider straight? I didn't even check before I did it. I thought it looks better like this anyway. However, I did it. It's stuck. Cool. But hold on, this is crooked. Bitch, I just came up with the cutest idea. So I went ahead and put this on my wreath. I think that's so fucking cute. Don't fucking play with me. What do you mean? Like, look. That's the cutest wreath ever. I swear I win. Like when it come down to Halloween wreaths, whose wreath is better? I swear I have the best fucking wreath. Like don't play with me. Why they put the bow way over there? But look, don't play with me. My wreath is so cute. What? The spider, the bows, the pickaboo, don't play. Okay, I'm telling you some hot glue, some hot glue can just change your life. I wish life was just a hot glue, hot glue would just fix everything in life. Cause what? Yes. Hot glue it down. Hot glue it down. But, bow bow. Maybe you'll see some hot glue. I just want to go crazy with this hot glue right now. Anything else need hot glue? Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Oh no, my ring. Oh no, something's breaking. Shit. Okay. But, let go. And this is Raggedy Ann, y'all. She's cute, she's very mindful, she's very demure. I got her from Big Lots. Big Lots is actually closing right now, so y'all should go there if y'all are looking to stock up on anything. They're having a lot of sales right now. I'm actually gonna take my ass up there and see what other Halloween stuff I got. Yeah, that's Raggedy Ann. We're gonna set her up, and then I put my Halloween decor right here. I like it, it's cute. I cleaned my kitchen up, because my kitchen was super cluttered. Girl, I had my big, my bong up there, like all this stuff just everywhere it was not cute. So I finally cleaned it up and I like the way it looks now. Way more organized. I need to stock up on my coffee pods. And then I got my hookah coal warmer. 
little coffee pot. I mean, my crock pot. I love this machine right here because, you know, I love me soda, some soda sometimes, but I don't drink soda. But sometimes, like, you end up craving it just in the midst of living life, like, you know. So I love Soda Stream because you could turn your cranberry juice, your, like, whatever beverage you're drinking, you could turn it into a carbonated drink. That way you can get that little fizz. Because I don't drink soda, but I sometimes crave that fizz. So that's why I got that machine. I really like it. And I think for the fruits, but yeah. Kitchen looks way better love it and we're gonna take this bottle girl and i'm going to go to the cbd shop and we can chop it up in the car a little bit because i do now that i'm in a clear headspace about you know everything that happened to me this past week and i'm not angry i'm not pressed i'm like my my emotions are very minimal about the situation so but i do want to speak on it because you really got to watch who your friends are and I feel like I'm back in high school with the rumors being told and the lies and stuff. Like it's, it's stupid. And it's like, wow, this is why I've been out the way and not even out the way because I'm in plain sight. I'm never hiding from anything. This is why I've been hanging out with a whole different crowd of people, a whole different girl. I can't even talk. This is why I've been hanging out with a whole different group of people lately. But yeah, let's talk about it. I'm going to put on some shoes and stuff. I want to go to the CBD shop now that I got everything done. I love my wreath. It looks so cute on the door. Like, child, I can't take it. You know, and then soon I'm going to set up my Christmas tree. I have an 8-foot tree. kind of want to get a 10-foot tree now since my ceilings, my ceilings are so high. So I think I'm going to post my Christmas tree up on like facebook.com or something so i could see if somebody wants to buy it and i'm gonna exchange that tree out for a 10 foot tree because girl i'm talking about your girl has room and i need to get these endorsements done girl i cannot wait to do fun millie fitness it's the treadmill i can't believe somebody sent me a treadmill like that's so dope but yeah girl i'm gonna check in with y'all here in a little bit all right babies let's go run some errands i totally didn't even show y'all my new car she's cute let me actually i really didn't even show y'all babe she's cute the inside's cute too she lights up we're gonna go run some errands oh because i need to get me my vice girl which is some cbd and i like my little sweater it's so cute i'm ready for it to start being cool i'm ready for the winter sweaters I need to get my Apple Watch again. Like I honestly like having an Apple Watch. I know some people make fun of Apple Watches, but when you are a business owner and you're on the go and people are constantly texting you, like it comes in handy because you could just tap on your watch and like it has messages ready for you. But girl, yeah. <sighs> Let's go run some errands. First, I'm gonna stop at the CBD shop and get a couple joints and or actually I don't need to because I do have my pen and I feel like this is just as good. Excuse me. So let's just go straight to Big Lots. Big Lots is closing soon, all of their stores. So I highly recommend y'all going there right now because they're gonna have so many sales. Turn my tones down. Oh, hold on, let me get me some juice before I pull out. All right, girly. Okay, vlog. So let me put this address in and let's talk. Don't you love car talks? They're like literally the best. I know y'all are wondering. And I do have my silicone scar sheet. I just shaved my face well, with the razor blade, you know, with the the derma blades or whatever. Cause I had hair on my face and it just wasn't cute. And girl. This guy that I like is so fine, so I have to stay on my shit because I'm saving myself for him, like for real. But um, yeah, so that's why my skin is really glowing right now and it's really tight. I'm gonna keep my hair in this tight ass ponytail. And I put my sunscreen, my Moderma sunscreen on. I highly recommend getting you the Moderma, the Moderma sunscreen and including that in your everyday skincare because it also lightens scars. And then I just, you know, wash it up and here we go all right i already have it's only nine minutes away so that's good that's also why i like living out here because you know everything's really oh so thank god i like stopped i was really just closing my they really just went we're going so fast though like a grown-ass woman all right is there anybody behind me there we go and let's talk because this honestly is not going to take a long time because there's really nothing to say everything that happened to me was not intended for me like i honestly had nothing to do with anything that happened to me 
over the weekend. I'm trying to figure out why. I don't know which way to turn. My thing has not. Head southeast, turn right. Cool. I need to get a foam mount. I had one, but I just didn't like it. It was just coming off so easy. I love my new car, by the way. I mean, I don't love it. It's cool for now. But child, basically what happened to me over the weekend had absolutely nothing to do with me. Um, It's really nothing to talk about. No, you know, I've, I've heard a couple of the rumors and I'm not gonna mention any names. I'm just gonna use letters when I talk about the people, you know, involved and not even just involved. Just really the backstory is all that there is to talk about because the backstory of what happened to me is honestly way more more crazy than where are they about to go? Can I go? Okay. But the backstory of what happened to me is way more crazy than what actually happened. Because to come to find out, it had nothing to do with me. And the couple rumors that I heard, I wanna go ahead and shut down right now. No, I was not touching on anybody. No, I did not get beat up twice in one night. And what else? No, I didn't call the police on anybody, actually. There's a lot, not a lot that was said. There's a couple rumors from, and it's, that's why I say watch who you call your friends because the rumors that are coming about are coming from somebody who was supposed to be my friend. And this person is now trying to save face versus just admitting like, hey, I'm a horrible friend. I left you in the midst of a big ordeal and I apologize and I ain't shit for that and leave it at that versus trying to save face and creating these high school ass lies for what like this shit not gonna get back to me like I'm not gonna clear this shit up so we're gonna use letter s for the girl who was supposed to be my friend and honestly what happened to me the person that hit me I forgive them now you know coming to know about the whole reason as to why i even got hit like it's honestly water under the bridge like my eye is healed up i'm fine i've been through worse mind you i've been through worse so that's honestly why it's not affected me really any of course i was just drained mentally not even physically because you know your girl don't get tired i'm a whole dog mom out here but it was just more just draining mentally. Like, why am I dealing with this high school ass shit? So girl, basically what happened was, girl, we were out all night. You saw me for Sunday Fun Day. I was looking so cute. And excuse the sun, she's like not helping us out. Like, what's the speed limit? Come on, going too slow. But, you know, we had a good time Sunday Fun Day. We were going from place to place. I should have stayed with the pretty pretty girls that I was already with, mind you. And yeah, I didn't, which I should have. And see the girl, so basically this is what happened. Girl, I hang out with a whole different group of people now that from the girls that I used to hang out with. Mainly because, and I stopped associating with these people because there's always, it's always drama. There's always drama. It's always some shit, okay? It's never just a fun night. It's always going to be some shit. And I don't like that. So I started associating myself with people who just like to go out and have a good fucking time. Not people that like to start drama. Not people that, you know, just are in drama always. I don't, if you know, whatever. And you see this person, I got bored and I reached out to somebody who everybody's been telling me, you know, that's not your friend. Quit hanging out with her. You know what are you doing hanging out with her you're so pretty you're too pretty you don't you know you don't want to be associated with that and that's honestly why i stopped hanging out with this person s you know the girl who love her love her personality but she's just not a good friend she talks about all her friends we all know this how do i know all of your friends tea i know shit about all of your friends literally because you just run your mouth about all your friends i mean i can imagine what you say about me and that's why i stopped hanging out with this person because i realized this is just not somebody that i really want in my life for real like i don't want to be associated i have a past and i don't run from my past i don't hide my past my past is there for everyone to see and i did that for a reason because i you know wrote my books the whole sugar baby brand that i had is off of my past and what people thought was going to destroy me i capitalized off of it so with me having this past that i want to turn into something positive i cannot go backwards and associate myself with people who make me look like my past is my present and my future because it's not 
and every anyone that comes in contact with me yes they may have an opinion but once they get to know me and hear what the fuck i have to say they completely change their mind because i'm a genuine person for real like i don't just be getting blessed and standing on my own two feet and be doing what i do for no reason i'm genuinely a good person and god be blessing me and looking out for me for real so you know with that being said i can't associate myself with certain people and i don't want to be around certain things and you know when i drink my demons i realize only come out around horrible people like i could drink tequila around certain people like it's good energy but every single time i'm around this group of people we'll call it s and t you know their friends will say s and t every time i'm around this group of people there is always some drama and like it's always some tension and some confrontation because we're not friends for real we don't need to be hanging out with each other we don't need to be around each other so whatever girl we went out because i was bored i reached out to this person because this is the person who you know introduced me to some experiences when i used to live downtown so and i'm very loyal i'm a cancer and so i always i'm just too loyal for my own good you know and i'm always standing up for this person telling people this is a good person you know i don't care what y'all talking about i'll just you know love her from a distance so i got bored because mariah asked my sister she is out of town she's back home in la where she should be and i cannot wait i'm so happy she doesn't live here because i'm fucking coming like i just have to get in life you know has obstacles but it's all about how you handle those obstacles so I'm, and i'm handling my obstacles very well so i'll be out there soon but anyway i got bored girl i hit up this bitch who i had no reason hanging out with like i already knew to stay away from this bitch like this bitch just her reputation fucking is horrible i got a pass but my reputation is not bad i have a very good reputation yes i used to be very feisty and you know i used to fight a lot but girl i just turned 30 i'm growing up and as i'm growing up i'm getting softer like i don't got it in me no more you know what i mean like and i just want to i i don't have beef with nobody so i don't even be worried about getting into it with nobody like i know i don't have beef with anybody anybody that don't like me is literally because i'm beautiful and that's it because bitch i know i didn't fuck your nigga i know i didn't steal from you i know i wasn't talking about you because i don't talk about people like that i really don't like i don't fucking have time bitch i have four dogs what the fuck are we talking about bro <clears throat> like sorry this weed pen this cbd pen is like really strong like i, I know i don't got beef with nobody and I, so I just don't I don't I don't got it in me no more you know I be chilling I be looking I like my nails long I like my bundles done I like to be cute I like to be pretty I like to get tipsy and be nasty with my man and be pretty and just be pretty and be smart and be pretty and creative and be pretty and just live my fucking pretty ass life okay and I'm light-skinned I'm sensitive and I'm emotional and I do light skin shit sometimes but the light skin shit I do I ain't never nothing to like <coughs> want to beef with me over because i'm just like skin ass bitch and i'm emotional but uh, so girl that's what i'm doing you know we go out we're going everywhere i'm you know being light skin and pretty and not like using my brain at all i'm just minding my business and being outside because like i just want to have a good time this is why i'm out here because i want to have a good time and girl we get to the third spot and me and the T girl, we get into a more of a verbal altercation. I wouldn't even say physical because we didn't even like touch each other or anything like that. Like I wouldn't even say like it was any like type of physical altercation. We used to date. And so I don't know, we're just always getting into it. Like I like girls, I like black girls. I don't know, I'm always attracted just to black girls for some reason, like I've never been attracted to any other ethnicity. But perhaps I pick up a part right here. So yeah, girl, me and T, we're getting into it per usual. I already know I should be hanging out with y'all. I should have been like called it a night then and I'll see y'all, you know, another time. I should have called it a night then and just left it alone and hung out with the girls that I was with. But we decided to go out with each other again anyway. So girl, we get to the last spot and when we walk in, we're literally there for five minutes. Literally. You know, my homegirl that I was with, who I have no business be I wouldn't even, well, she's not my homegirl anymore. I do not fuck with her no more will never fuck with her again in my life the girl s that i was with we walk in i'm being cute you know getting love everybody showing me love smiling at people saying hi you know i'm very cool i'm not like a mean girl i'm not gonna walk past people and just be mugging everybody i like to say hi you know what's popping like that way you know like i'm pretty but you could talk to me like you could say hi i'm cool i'm not here to 
talk to nobody. I don't want to get no numbers. I'm not looking for no nigga. Like, I'm good. My roster is completely full. And I don't mean, like, roster. But I just mean, like, I have my eyes on someone. And so I'm just not interested in anybody. I'm just here literally to get out the house and have a good time with my girls. Per usual, I don't ever go out looking for no nigga. Like, don't look for no man in the club. Looking for a man in the club is the worst thing you could ever do. No man in the club wants to be kept, okay? So, we walking in and we're walking up to this section that mind you, we ain't got no business being in this section, okay? Why are we walking up to a section of people when you know there's somebody at this table that don't like your ass? What the fuck are we even doing here? Mind you, I don't know all this at the time. I have, don't know anything. I don't find out everything until after I get punched in my face. So we walk up to this section, girl, and I don't know. I'm, I were walking and next thing you know, I don't know, I've stood there for a, maybe a moment and then I see the girl that I came with to the left walking through. Mind you, I didn't even know she like, you know, walked that way because, you know, there's a lot of people. By this time, I'm a little tipsy. And next thing you know, I just get punched in my face. Bow. I'm talking about so fucking hard. Like, I done been through some shit. But ain't nobody ever touched me like that before. So, I was just shocked. Because, like, but, you know, I'm cool. Like, I, that's crazy. I look great. Like, everything's fine. I'm just keeping this silicone scar sheet on because I want to make sure it doesn't leave me a line i'm making sure the tissue and everything heals evenly but yeah and we leave out everybody's grabbing me i'm hitting tables with my legs and stuff that's what I have bruises on my legs and stuff um and in the midst of this i guess i pushed the girl that i'm with by accident because mind you everybody's grabbing me i'm telling everybody to get off me i can walk i have blood all in my eye and when we get to the car this bitch locks me out both my phones are in her car and i'm pretty sure my keys were in there my tennis bracelet was in there and this bitch drives off and leaves me her excuse for leaving me was because i pushed her first of all bitch i have blood all in my fucking eye and i more than likely couldn't fucking see and i probably didn't even know it was you okay that's not a reason to leave me and then she told somebody else she left because I was calling the police or the police was coming and she not with that. First of all, bitch, S, you're the one who told me who hit me. You're the one who told me to press charges. You're the one who told me to press charges and you're, what, what do you mean? And not even just that, when, so when she pulled off and left, my phones were in her car. So I'm left by myself, leaking with no phones no key to my car thank goodness well thank god my passport was in my wallet and a stranger let me stay with them and use their phone i stayed at a stranger's apartment for the like half of the night not the whole night they let me use their phone i was blowing this girl up like are you serious bitch you just left me like first of all don't be saying that you left me because i was calling the police or because i pushed you i couldn't see probably didn't know it was you because I was calling the police. What do you mean? I wasn't on the phone with anybody and not even just that. You're the one who told me to press charges. You know, and I, whatever. So she's hanging up in my face and I get pissed the fuck off because I'm like, are you serious, bitch? Like, what are, what is, what are you on? Like, give me my shit. You can go and leave. I shouldn't have been fucking with you anyway. This is exactly why I have not been hanging out with you because you're just not a good friend. When I, when you sit there and talk about your friends to me, I don't look at you like you're cool. I look at you like you're a conniving ass bitch because why are you hanging out with these people every single day but you talk shit about them like that? The, the shit you talk is not something that's forgivable. Like, that's why I've been fucking with you because I can only imagine. I mean, you can't say nothing about me. All you can say about me is I'm a good fucking friend. I'm a good person because all you could bring up about me is my mugshot from 2015. And if that's what you're trying to bring up about me, baby girl, you're late. That shit got dismissed a week later and I addressed that shit in 2016 and wrote three fucking books and started how many fucking lines off of the sugar baby name. I had a hairline, lip gloss, my fitness kits, my sugar baby candles, my three books, my coaching classes, my motherfucking wigs, my, what else the fuck did I have? My sugar baby dolls, the little black cute little Barbie dolls with the curly hair, the sugar baby dolls. Like, I started a whole brand off that shit. So if you're trying to bring up my mugshot, baby, you late. I left it there for a reason. 
because I like to see how people go and treat me when they know my past. My past is, yeah, it's right there online for you if you like, you know what I mean? Like, it's nothing, everybody knows that shit. My grandma knows about this shit. You're late. Like, I don't know a girl out here that ain't looking to come up off of, like, to looking for a man to financially benefit her. Like, I don't know a single person. I did something with myself, and that's all we, like, you can't air me out. I don't do shit but mind my motherfucking business and I'm not gonna lie I'm actually a very good person I do a lot of good behind closed doors and it shows proof is in the pudding it shows in my life and my, the blessings that I constantly receive but like I shouldn't have been fucking with you and so I did you know I did get pissed off and I you know got online and got on the internet with it and I've been in fights before and I don't go to the internet with it the only reason why I went to the internet with this one is because I called my phone this phone that I'm so glad that I have because if this phone would have got lost child this phone is not backed up and, and this is the phone with everything I don't even think I got insurance on this phone so I called this phone one more time and child tell me why somebody answered it and it was a food truck a food truck found my phone so I just like spaced out for a second a food truck found my phone on the side of the road we went and picked it up I was pissed. I got online with it. Like, you know, find my iPhone is telling me that my phone is at your crib, giving me my fucking shit. Like, with the, I was fucking furious. And I shouldn't have got online with it. But the only reason why I did is because this bitch that we're talking about loves to expose people. She loves to jump online, you know, and expose people. So I was like, fine, you're not answering the phone. You're hanging up in my face and you got my shit and you got the nerve to call me your sister when you introduce me to people. Bet, bitch. Maybe I'll get online and this will be a way for you to answered the goddamn phone so whatever got online with it should have did that the thing that i'm mainly addressing with this situation is i could have pulled up with the police and i didn't instead i pulled up with a mutual friend of both of ours and you're telling people that you left me because i was going to call the police but bitch you told me to press charges and then when i came with this mutual friend of ours legend when me and him pulled up to your crib to get my shit you called the police on us. She at first, I don't know, like whatever. We're not gonna get into the whole shit. We're just gonna keep that between us because we know what happened. She called the police on us. Like really, bitch? You tried to put me in jail. You took my shit. You just left me. Mind you, and all of this could have been prevented. What the fuck are we doing? We, we, so when we went to that set, when we walked into the place that we were at, the girl punched me because the girl that I was with apparently this girl does not like her so when she walked up i guess there was already tension that i did not see and i guess she knew to move around and so when i walked up this girl felt like she was being ambushed and so she just swung i didn't touch nobody i wasn't touching on nobody dick i wasn't rubbing like come on now if you believe this girl that was supposed to be my home girl mind you i don't even know why she would say that like bitch i was rubbing on this man dick are you fucking serious so if you believe that i would just walked up to a guy and just start rubbing on his dick and i got punched in my face if you believe that you belong over there no that's not what happened i was with this girl who i ain't got no business with she walked up to a fucking section she ain't got no business walking up to and the girl obviously motioned for her to move the fuck around and the she moved the fuck around and i didn't see her move around till too late so when i saw her walking to the left and i looked back i just got hit in my face like she felt like we were coming over there i guess to start some shit and it's like bitch this could have been prevented we ain't had no business over here in the first fucking place and two you left me three you called the police on me and four instead of just admitting that you a fucking horrible friend you're making up these lies for no reason, like it's not gonna get back to me. Your friends fuck with me. I'm a cool person. Only times I ever ain't been cool is because of some shit you probably done said that made me switch, you know, cause I always have my friends back. My friends don't like somebody, I don't like nobody with, I don't like them with them. Cause I'm it's just, I'm a little friend like that. But yeah, that's all it was. Literally wrong place, wrong time, hanging out with the wrong bitch, clearly. Cause I ain't been in a fight and I don't know how motherfucking long. And any fights and scuffles that I've been in is literally, it, it was nothing. With some bitches who I shouldn't be with. Cause me and my friends don't get into it when we go out and we get drunk. We literally just be having a good time. So it's just like, that's annoying. Like I put myself in a situation that I could have prevented myself by knowing my, by trusting my gut and knowing that this person is not good for my growth. This person isn't, is just not a good person. And I've had to cut this person off multiple times. So when you have to cut somebody off multiple times, stay away from them. And I mean, with serious situations, of course, I'm not talking like 
some things can be worked out you know what i mean sometimes we as people do need to work on our attitudes but when i'm, I'm talking about friendships when it, i'm 30 years old what do i look like making up with somebody back to back to back when you constantly doing high school ass shit i feel like i'm in fucking high school this sounds like high school you feel me so it's just like i'm glad that shit happened though because it was a learning lesson i literally knew better and it's like watch your surround not watch your surroundings actually because if you're a good person you don't need to watch your surroundings i don't need to watch my surroundings i don't need to lay low i don't know about i don't gotta beef with nobody nobody should has a reason to have beef with me for real and the only reason like literally it's more than more watch who you associate yourself with because i literally got punched in my face from being associated literally with the wrong person like wrong place wrong time hanging out with the wrong fucking bitch like watch who you're hanging out with and that's honestly all the advice I can give in that situation. But that's honestly, that's it. And that's all that happened. There's really, it's not like a big thing. And that's also why my attitude towards it is so nonchalant now because I'm good. Like everything's, I'm feeling good. Everything's back to normal. I just had to let my eye heal because I was not trying to be, a, like, finna be around people. And my eyes sitting there, like, swollen. So I had to let my eye heal. And yeah, back to life, girl. Let me go in here. I'm gonna grab me a little notebook because I wanna start jotting down notes because I am really busy. So I wanna start jotting notes down. I'm gonna go get me a little notebook from in here. I'm gonna get some detergent and some bleach and hopefully I have a plunger in here. Let me put journal because I do need a plunger. It's like all clogged. Everything's clogged in my crib. The upstairs, restroom is clogged. The downstairs. Well, no, the downstairs isn't clogged. They just need to come fix it. Like the water toilet and the water, like I don't, no, I don't, this is not my area for life. Like this is not my, I don't know about the toilet. Like it's not my type of shit. Yeah, child, when I tell you, make sure I got all that out that I wanted to say. Cause I didn't even have much to say. Like, yeah, and that's it. After the police got called, I was like, fuck it. You know, I'll get a new phone. And everything has been replaced. I'm happy. My eye is healing. My man is fine as hell. I'm fine. My dogs are cute. I just did all my Christmas, de my Halloween decor. I'm excited. I can't wait to order my outfit. And then my sister invited me to her babies, to her daughter's birthday party. I'm so excited. And I'm just like, oh, no way. I just got invited to her, her birthday party. Wish. I just got to watch my mouth when I get there, like, and not cuss. Because I'd be like, bitch, by accident. So I gotta watch myself. And what else? Yeah, and that's it. Sorry, I'm like really daydreaming right now. I'm trying to like get my life together. I have it all written down. All my bills are paid. I'm gonna go finish waxing. I have, that's all I need to do. Finish waxing, get this stuff, do the laundry, take my puppy a bath, get those toilets and everything unclogged, get a couch, do these endorsement deals eat see i'm telling you like i'm gonna be so good for the rest of the year i'm not running my i'm watching my mouth i'm talking about i'm gonna get put up again i can't do this no more i get i give up the hard life is not for me i'm too pretty all this it's i just need to have somebody's babies and just be put up and just take care of the babies and take care of the house and invest my savings account into something and just i put in the work and i'm done i'm done hey y'all it's your girl malaysia thank you so much for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when i drop a new vlog don't forget scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed